hi hi guys welcome to our new video today we're gonna show you uh 5g and fiber which one is faster so um so we're gonna go to speed test this for the 5g it should be a very small video because we did many many videos about 5g so i'm gonna go to speed test and uh, sometimes it depends where you are uh, but 5g to me it seems to be very good uh let me see google.com gonna go to google google.com say enter then remember we connected using a, a cable not we, we're not using a wi-fi uh wi-fi we're just using a cable it's a lane what uh, cable so we're gonna say speed test speed test once we do that uh we're gonna test then you test let's test the speed uh this is the speed we have on 5g for now where we are and uh you're gonna see the upload speed i'm gonna show you the modem we're using for 5g uh then the upload speed is a little bit slow for now but it depends on the day but uh the download speed is good anyway so that's fine so uh let's finish it's gonna finish it's gonna finish it's gonna finish okay let's say the five the download speed is 84 and also the upload speed is five so let me take you there and uh, this fiber this 5g you're gonna see it. yeah yeah this is the one for for, for outdoor you pay only a thousand rand a month and you get that speed even the speed i showed you is, uh, is less because it's here inside but if it was outside we're gonna see a speed which goes at least to 250 to 300 megabytes per second so now we're gonna see this is the way it looks like okay so guys that's all so we're gonna show you also we're gonna go to to fiber to show you how fiber how faster fiber is then you compare then you take you see how much you pay there and how much you pay here then it will be up to you to to choose what you want okay uh let me go to fiber now hi guys no this is the uh now we're gonna test the what the fiber because we did test the 5g of sin so now this is fiber look at this we're gonna do this speed test but we're gonna do it on the phone so okay but this fiber is from vodacom we're gonna do a speed test now you can see now this is running on 10 something Okay. okay. You're down here. No, everything is fine. And uh, you can see the upload, uh, the download is done. So now see it's on the upload is this. So you can see we're sitting on 10 and also 11. So the upload is a little bit higher and the download is what is a bit slow, but it's a 10 meg. So look what's going on now. This uh this fiber is um a 10 meg fiber but you still get everything here i'm saying you can see here upload speed is uh 11.2 and download speed is uh is what is a uh, 10. so the line they gave us it's a uh, it's what 10 meg you know so so it gets its full capacity you get me so you can see we're sitting on four bars four bars uh three bars on on our what wi-fi but also it still give us the what the right speed so let's go show you the box here then you're gonna see the fiber box yeah this is your fiber box so which runs from here to the house goes like this yeah so now it's gonna be up to you to decide what you're gonna take uh, you wanna take fiber or you wanna take 5g and uh, if you wanna take 5g it's up to you if you wanna take fiber it's up to you but the fiber we're showing you for one point uh, for 10 meg you pay how much is uh, 700 something uh, 770 for 10 megs 770 10 up, 10 right, 10 10. yeah or if you're getting 30 right 30 slash 30 Sometimes it's 10 upload and 2, two, 
to, no, to, to, ten, uh, ten down download to upload. To upload. So right ten slash two. But this one is a ten ten. This is ten slash ten. Yeah, ten ten. But you can see what sometimes if you like you can get something which is higher. And uh it's ten upload, ten download. So you pay seven seventy. So let's say it's eight hundred. But the five G we showed you, you it's uh one thousand, but you can we showed it was running on eighty something uh per second megabytes but also it goes until to 300 megabytes per second so also there's a 5g for 700 but that 5g it runs on 30 megabytes you get me so 30 upload 30 download so we're doing this video because we want you to decide which one is better for you and which one is cheaper for you as i said that if you're a person who who is uh, who? Who does? Who don't move? Move like maybe this month I'm gonna be in Cape Town. Next month I'm gonna be in Johannesburg. You understand things like that. So you can take a 5G. But if you're a person with a, uh, if you're not willing, if you don't think like you're gonna move anytime, you can take what fiber? Why fiber? It has also its own what good uh, things. Why it doesn't? It's a little bit stable. You saw the car which passed here. On 5G, if the car passes and there's a lot of noise, so the signal is being what? Uh, distracted, you get me? So, also, if it's raining, maybe there's thunder and stuff, you can get a bad what signal on 5G. But on fiber, always you might, things are, chances are high that you can st stand on what? On, on, on that uh, speed you are on, and it's faster, it's stable, so a little bit okay to me, but uh, uh, if you don't mind about all other stuff you can get that also additional stuff I would say. you all packages you get free modems you understand but fiber now it has also one uh, trick which is not okay but it depends also on the supplier the supplier I know uh, they ask fibers I, I used to 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 do what to encourage people if you want to take any fiber or 5g you should take a month to month what uh, contract you don't have to take any contract it takes by maybe oh, six no, months are they us? yeah it's, they are installing the fiber for you mm. so everything they put in is free but mm. when you cancel with them they charge you for the installation yeah did you hear that uh if they can install fiber for free for you but if you cancel then they gonna charge you all the installation and stuff if you charge bef if you do cancel before a year or before 24 months yeah before and then but they tell us month to month so i'm not month sure. to month but if you cancel sometimes they say uh before two years or before one year or before six months you get I think so, so maybe yeah. you brought in fiber this month you must read your contract agreement yes yes you have to read your contract so you brought in fiber this month then you cancel after two two months or one month so you can see they send the technician to you they gave you everything you've used it now you're canceling so they don't make money that way so that's why they're gonna charge you like that so but 5g only on rain what i know i did cancel one of my 5g modems they only uh packages they only fetch the modem and i didn't pay extra i only had pay, paid all the days i used in the month so in case you cancel on the 10th of the month they're gonna calculate how many days you used and also how much data you used on that in that month then you pay only that small money then you give the modem back that's the thing I cannot remain with the modem because uh, most of us we don't have 5g modems they are new they are not like 4g like a 4g you can buy a sim card you put it in your phone or you put it in another modem you can buy it somewhere else but in most cases 5g when you buy it the the, the, the service provider is gonna give you the what the modem you get it. so that's why i'm saying when they cancel it you have to bring back the modem or they're gonna fetch it or they might penalize you if you don't want to give it because they say 5g modem it costs almost 10,000 you understand are you willing to pay 10,000 or you're willing to give it back because you're not going to use it but also 5g modem it uses a 4g if you have a 5g modem and they didn't take it out and you cancel i don't know you can put a 4g modem it a 4g sim card it works there but now bad news is if you have a 5G SIM card, it cannot work in a 4G modem or a 4G phone or whatever, something like that. So